thrift and see what's there. Okay, so this is made in Mexico, but it's a vintage modernist piece. So I'm gonna get that in the box. And then there's a bracelet. I mean, you just never know here. This is, this is great. I really love this. I think I have to get it. There's no saucer. Well, these are so mid-century cool. This is a score, 175 retail. Okay, so I just looked yeah, at sir. this. Now that I know that I was a jerk. I mean, you know, the lady at the Brutalist iceberg. And it's Friday, it's auction day. So I was gonna go to American Thrift. Oh, it's been more than a week since I've been there. It's been like two weeks or more and I need a fix, but I can. I've run out of time. So I'm going to head over to Hackettstown, Trinity Thrift in Hackettstown because I love them. They're really small. I always score there if I wait. You know, like if I go every week, I don't find things. But it's been now three weeks or almost a month. So I feel like I'm going to get lucky. So let's go on over to Trinity Thrift for a quick thrift and see what's there. Ooh, that's an empty space. I'm not used to seeing this. It's a cute candlestick. Fifteen one is probably worth the fortune. I have no idea what it is. I like this. St. Patrick's Day. These are beautiful. Laughlin. Oh my gosh, there's more here. They got the best china. They really do. Okay, the luck of the Irish. The luck of the Irish. Will it be with me? Ooh, this is pretty. I like that. And it is marked. Oh yeah, we'll pick that up. That's fabulous. That's a yes, Ralph Lauren. Oh, like this. That is crystal. That's a new sight. This is, this reminds me of an old Vogue bead, and it's supposed to be doubled because you see that. So that looks nice too. Oh, I like that. I never noticed that before. Okay. Wow, two things, and I've been here one minute. Anything good over here? Hello, Maureen. Say hi to the people. You look fantastic as always. <laughs> it's a great belt. I always check the. Ooh. I should get over to the um, the jewelry right away, but there's a bunch of people there, so I'm just waiting a second for it to clear out. What is this? This is beaded. <laughs> That's all beaded. It is a beaded Obi belt. Oh yeah, we're gonna pick that up. Okay, time to get a cart. All right. Ta-da. More modern. More, oh, this is very 80s looking. Safari Inc. Los Angeles, made in Italy. Well, that is definitely vintage, but it looks like new. But it is vintage. It's weird that it never tanned. That's like the naked leather before it. Um, that's kind of amazing. All right. I have a lot of belts I should get to first. This is bonded leather. You see bonded leather? All right. Anything interesting? This is so vintage. There's some very vintage ties, which I'm just not in the mood for today. Ooh, this is pretty, though. JG hook. All right. Ooh, that's tiny. Ooh, that's a tiny one. But that's cute. Little purse watch. Oh, no, it's not. It's just, it's a little, 
first bracelet. That's interesting. All right, let's see. Oh, these. Those are cool. Oh, I love the knot ring. The knot ring is great. Oh, yeah, there's some things. Oh, that bangle is fantastic. Oh, it's a good day. I haven't been here in weeks. So I'm glad because they've had time to refill. And oh, my gosh, what is that back there? That looks like, I don't know, it could be new. It could be Thomas Mann. We don't know. We're going to find out. The, the knot ring and um, the bangle in the front the this yes and then also the one with like the turquoise actually that bar if you could just bring the bar up that would be great okay, so this is beautiful that's a very modernist looking yeah, bangle really is, yeah. all right there's a mark i will check that this looks like more contemporary sort of QVC or something, but I love that it's a heart and a knot. <laughs> so that we'll look at too. This one is kind of vintage Mexico inlaid. So we'll look at that with the loop as well. Um, this is like a Pandora type yeah. thing. All right. All right. Stand by. I'm going to get the loop. Okay, so this is made in Mexico, but it's a vintage modernist piece. So I'm going to get that. This is 925 inlay. This is older than this one, and it has an older mark. Also Mexico. I'm going to get that. This is Pandora. It's marked ALE, and it's $18. And I just, I'm not as inspired by it because it's Pandora. So I'm going to say no to that one. And I'm going to keep looking. Can I see the 10 karat gold um, in the box? And then there's a bracelet that's a link bracelet in the back that's... This is $50. Okay. So this is 50, huh? And it's 10 karat this bracelet in the box. Yes, that one. Thank you. That's $8. All right, you can put those back. Thank you very much. You're always so nice. Um, how about this one in the front? Yes. Thank you. A lot of people are looking at that gold thing, but when they see it's 50, they don't know. That's a good price for it. It's just who, you know, do you have 50? It's the person who wants to spend 50 when the day they see it, you know? That's sort of interesting. Okay, so this is 95 $5. and it's 15 $50 and it's a pretty chain, but it's, I think the beads would make it hard to hang things from it, so I'm going to pass on that. Can I see this tray? Yes, please. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Waxed, right? You get the drawer wax. WKD40. That's what my husband said. <laughs> oh, mine too. WD40. Spray it. The sliding glass doors are with everything. I go like, I don't like that we stuff. We spray that we have a bird feeder on. Oh, oh it's pretty. I'm going to look at that with the loop. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't last People long. This is uh, interesting. Oh, look at online. that. That's like reversible. <laughs> this is like oh, reversible. Okay. This is pretty. And that is 18. Um, oh, what's this? A oh, little Mexican hat. These are cool. This is beautiful. This looks like old Judith Jack. That is 25. Can we see that? Yes, 25. Okay. Not too inspired by that right now. These are pretty. These are old. You know what? These go with the bracelet. These go with the bracelet. I'm sure it came from the same person. We will say yes to that. Actually, I'm liking this more and more. That is pretty. Right. I think what else we can find. Those are nice. Those are okay. All right. Not really seeing anything else. All right. I always try and remember 
to check the things on top. Sometimes if you know what to look for, you can get very lucky. Um, let's see if there's anything here. Sometimes, oh, these are beautiful. These are probably silver. Those are great. Um, what is that? Little faceted hematite. This is like some kind of cool cat eye. That's cool. We'll, we'll pass on that. Little chandeliers. These are fun. These are, this is the, this is where I found what I thought was Lucite costume and turned out to be beautiful rock crystal chandeliers. So I always try and remember to check here. These look like natural stone. Um, these feel like they're made well. What is this? Looks like someone's object. Okay, we're going this way. Thank you. Hi, hi, how are you? Great, thank you. Okay. Always gonna check now. These are nice. These are interesting. No, but since you said that, I'm going to try there. Because I would love it. Coffee is delicious. Oh, okay. That's my next. Colombian coffee. That's pretty. That's my next. All right. So, so far we just have these to check, but I think they're a total score. These are like vintage silver. So fun. Look at this. This is an opalite turtle. I love opalite. I feel like there's someone that's going to want the opalite turtle. That's really great. This, I'm pretty sure they don't know what it is. That looks like not costume to me. So we'll grab that. This is still here. This is someone's kind of craft project. So is this, this is some vintage blue glass with newer things. This is pretty. I, you know, I didn't expect it. I mean, you just never know here. This is this is great. Someone made this, but it's beautiful. This is cool. Yeah. Oh. That's interesting. All right. You just never know here. It's worth coming in and finding a lot of things. Okay, so this is a total score. Do you see how pretty the goldstone is? And that is silver. So that's wonderful. This is Chico's Lucite. Totally fabulous. Love that. This, it's very costume, but who can resist an opalite turtle on a leather cord? Love that for $6. And then this, this might be my favorite today. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous Chico's dyed halolite and um, real coin, real coins in there. So just amazing. Do you see that? Set in. Love, 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 love. Also, I just checked these and these are sterling. Aren't they pretty? I love them. Vintage sterling. Okay, let's just do a little scan, see if there's anything fun. You never know what you're going to find. This is vintage. This is vintage. These are both like very vintage. You know, so is this one. So ooh, look at that. So worth looking through when you see things that have the age. Um, it's a tip to kind of make sure you see everything then. This is checking that that for a second it looked like cartier it is not okay that's newer okay. let's look at the rest of the purses over here not seeing anything this, this is very beat up, but worth looking at 
just to hone your skill when you see something like this. It turns out it's not leather, see? But the era, this is interesting, the wood handle. Um, some damage. Ooh. This is an interesting purse. It's got some pieces. This is where a key is supposed to be. There is a ring. This is also not leather, you can see. This is leather. This is a pretty purse. Oh, look, it's all suede on the inside. What is this? This is a very pretty purse. And it's that kind of leather that's not heavy. You know, like, sort of, you know how, like, the Goyard like this is never heavy? And that is made by... This is great. <laughs> this is a really cool purse. Brooks Brothers. Right? Oh, it's $22. Mm, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it, but it's it's a good one. If you're local and you want to come back here and grab it, grab it. Parent. Amazing. I like these. They actually go this way. And I think they're shelf risers because that's not a... Interesting now. We'll put them... You know what? I'm going to put them like that so people can tell. Little houses. This, I'm learning, this is Japan. Yep, Japan. Yay, Dawn's learning. This is nice. My favorite YouTuber would love these. Marks. So pretty. Black and white. Some milk glass. I feel like this is really unusual to find this, like, high one. $12. Ooh, that's nice. Look at this. Look at this pretty thing. Ooh, it's so sturdy. Ooh, it's signed. What does it say? Oh, my goodness. And then in front of it is... Inlaid Mother of Pearl in Capiz shells. Very pretty. I just did a quick Google search on this. The signature is actually Julia Knight. Right there. Julia Knight, Mother of Pearl. This is selling. It's sold out. You can't get it anymore. It was $175. It is made by Julia Knight. Only available at the Julia Knight web website. So this is a score. 175 retail. And it's beautiful. You can see why. This is lovely. Oh my gosh, I love this. Look at this teacup with the bird. <gasps> I really love this. I think I have to get it. There's no saucer, but I love it. I'm going to get it. I love it. I'm going to use it to hang earrings from. There's a reason. <laughs> There's always a reason. Oh my, how did I miss this? I just got really excited. This is glass. And what does that say? Oh, wow. This is awesome. Oh, good cook. I thought it was older. It has such a retro look, doesn't it? Wildwood, New Jersey. Oh, my gosh. With the surfboards, that's fabulous. And the Ferris wheel. Yes, 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 yes. Someone will want this. Yeah. Is that Arabic? I gotta double check that. That's very nice, the gold. We'll double check this. Okay, so I just looked at this with the loop, and that is definitely Arabic. So this came from Egypt, and I love it, and I'm gonna buy it.
Um, paying at the store did not go well. I behaved really badly at Trinity Thrift in Hackettstown and I feel really badly about it. Um, I don't have an excuse. I was mean to somebody and I wasn't aware of anything about them. I didn't know anything about them and I don't know what their struggles are and I don't know what they're going through and I can hurt people with my mouth and that's what I did. And I've been driving back thinking about trying to get into a better place to show you what I bought there and I spent $163. So here's the receipt. It's, it is really like it's a hundred and $63. So if I were to have an excuse, it would be that I was spending money there and that, you know, the person could have sounded less suspicious and less argumentative. Um, but again, I don't know what she was going through and no one ever really knows. So I'm just going to say, be careful because if you, um, you know, if things are going well in your life and you're stressed out and, you know, you have a bad day, you know, you're in a place. Oh, let me stop saying you, I'm in a place of privilege. I, I'm worried about a lot of things that everybody else worries about, but I have my health and I have, you know, a decent place to live and a car that works. And anyway, um, just feeling bad. And I just want the people at Trinity Thrift to know that I know that I was a jerk. I mean, you know, the lady at the counter said you were both wrong and that's probably true, but I don't like hurting people. So, uh, next time you're just about to be triggered, remember, you know, that it's probably not necessary to be mean. <laughs> I don't like being mean. I really don't like being mean. All right. Um, okay. So the hall. So the things that... I bought today, I, I did not expect, so, so I did not expect to spend the $163. Um, so I, I, I don't even know how it added up, but, but there's a few things that I think are, um, you know, have a lot of potential. Like I, I think this little teacup with the butterfly, the flowers, and the bird. Look at the painting of that bird. And you can kind of see through it, like you can see the light through it. So that's what it says on the bottom. I haven't looked it up at all. I will, you know, I definitely will. Is that right side up? There you go. So I love it. And you know, things like this, if you sell jewelry, you can hang earrings from the rim, you know, really sweet. And I got the, um, I got the Monet pin. I think what I'm going to do is have a buy it now sale next week. I'm going to try and figure out how to do like a pop-up with buttons. So subscribe if you haven't already and click the thumbs up. Because if you see anything here that you want to buy, you want to get notified by YouTube when I do that video so that you can be the first to grab it. Because it's all going to be one of a kind and I'm just going to put the buttons in the description, hopefully, if I can figure out the buttons. And also this, this, this is really nice. This is unmarked, but it's made really well. It's made like fine jewelry. So, um, can't wait to research that more. I did get the, um, this is where 
some of the money went. This was 30. Right. But I love, I love how it, it can form to the wrist and it's older and it has an older mark, sterling inlay. And then this modernist beauty. <laughs> this is so nice. I had to get it. That was 25 sterling Mexico. Um, I got the things to give away the, uh, the little, the little enamel parrot and the, uh, the locket. Sweet. Very sweet. Um, I have a lot actually. You know what? Just the bowl here. So this, this is, um, Brutalist. This is Iceberg by Hoya. And this is right up my alley. I love this kind of thing. So that retails for around $50. This, if you can find it, this is a signed Julie Knight Mother of Pearl in like gold capiz shell. This one. And this um, was sold out, but it retailed for $175 on the Julie Knight website. So very excited about this one and I might sell it. I mean, it's easy to ship, so I might just sell this. It's, it's fantastic. You could put this on a coffee table, put your remotes on it. Like it's a beautiful thing. Um, I love that shape. I got the, um, the beaded Obi belt. This is a remarkable thing. I cannot wait to research. Um, well, there's this, this is very fun. Wildwood, New Jersey with the Ferris wheel and everything. This is so vintage. Look at the old sticker. Very fun. But this is the one I really can't wait to research. This has an Arabic um, mark on the back. See that? Look. And it's got the gold um, painting or foil or whatever they call it. I mean, this is fabulous. This is vintage from Egypt. Egypt markings. Cannot wait to look that one up. And then there's more jewelry. <laughs> these, these are, um, these go with the bracelet. They're really wonderful. You can't get these anymore. These are vintage 1970s. You can't get them now. Not nice, hanging from the heart. Silver, it's not a lariat, it's a pendant. It does not come off the chain. It's that slinky chain, adjustable. This is pretty. This is something you wear all the time. And I'm going to make these fun little buy it nows. You know, just fun little buy it nows. I really will. If I can't do the buttons, if I can't do the buttons, then you can email or text me. Um, and if you text me, you'll get free text alerts when I go live. And the number is 917-809-7250. Text hello, Dawn, so we can stay connected. This is... um. Lauren Ralph Lauren. It's an older one. Really great quality. Beautiful. Nothing wrong with this. There it is more in the front. Here, hold on. It's pretty great. I recognize these. These are actually Lucite with gold foil in them. And I've seen them in Vogue jewelry, vintage Vogue jewelry. So, you know, this really um, puzzled me and I wanted to be able to look at it more and it didn't have a tag. So I got pushback. I got very suspicious pushback and I apologize for what I did next. Um, but anyway, there it is, really pretty. Great beads. There's some crystals in there too. Um, this turned out to be sterling and gold stone. This is beautiful. Can you see the gold stone? I love natural um, gold stone, which is a glass, but I love what it does. And then sterling findings. This is a cool necklace. See, it's got the one sort of asymmetrical from where the, the hook is. See that? Like that a lot. Um, this, this is J. Crew. 
can't go wrong honestly it's the best these things are the best they're just so wonderful to play with is who can pass up an opalite turtle <laughs> yeah he brings me joy how about that this chico's lucite gorgeous fun chico's great i think a lot of chico's is good enough to be future vintage and we will see how that goes the little um very vintage i love these i i almost am tempted to keep because they're so easy to wear these um these are sterling look how great they are and then finally my favorite piece of jewelry did come from chico's it is definitely future vintage i paid five dollars for it and it's so good this is so good okay look the coins all right dyed howlite all right dyed howlite um I mean, come on. And then here's the back of the ones on the side. This is so fun. It's so pretty. It's so cool to wear. Great, really great. So that's my haul. Thank you for watching. Click like, subscribe, ring the bell. I will see you in the next one and stay tuned for pop-up coming up next week instead of an auction. Bye.